Hello everyone, you are welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for always stopping by. <laughs> oh my God, they say wonders shall never cease to end. Mieti Hala Katohori, which is the Fulani Social Cultural Association, has raised the alarm that enemies in Nigeria, including state apparatus, have raised against Fulani pastoralists in Nigeria and are determined to make life miserable for them and frustrate their trade, their livestock grazing. This, the association said, was in addition to years of frustrations, denies, deniers and unjust attacks on the people and their source of livelihood by local communities and in some case, government agencies. The association was also concerned that the Fulani pastoralists across Nigeria have been profiled by both the media, the society and the security agencies and painted as enemies of the people and state and therefore harassed them, intimidated, extorted and punished unjustly. It however encouraged its members to be patient, calm, forgiven and focus on their business of livestock grazing and also endeavor to build and maintain peace, unity and cordial relationship with neighbors. The association's president, Alaji Bello Bojide, who addressed the crowd of Fulani pastoralists from across Nigeria and beyond, who gathered at the association's headquarters located along Abuja Kefi Expressway, Nasarawa State, at the weekend for the maiden edition of Fulani Cultural Festival, promised that the association has re strategize in its approach to protect the pastoralists whenever they are they are across Nigeria and secure justice for them. He however rained courses on some state governors whom he claimed chase Fulani pastoralists away from their states using state systems, assuring them that peace will continue to elude them until they reverse their decisions and wholeheartedly welcome and accept the pastoralists as members of the society. We know our friends and our enemies, and we will act at the right time, he said. Body Joe insisted that his people, the Fulanese, are not bandits, they are not kidnappers, nor perpetrators of crime against the society has been alleged, insisting that Fulani communities must have been infiltrated by enemies that are using the pictures and the images of Fulani pastoralists to unleash terror and carry out organized crime. He added, nevertheless, we encourage our members who are aggrieved and might had decide to retire to the bush and from there launch attacks to have a rethink should their sword should their sword and return the to the society so we can collectively attend to whatever their grievances are in as much as we don't support arms struggle our people have undoubtedly 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 i beg your pardon been badly treated over the years in nigeria we have been cheated denied all the necessary necessary opportunities for good life and education and in this time our source of livelihood are being targeted obviously we have been pushed to the wall hence the justification to the recent display of hunger by our people is led for the government and the people to do the needful he encouraged the fulani headsmen to participate in political process stating starting with the reg registration and the accusation of national identity number NI and the permanent voters card PVC to enable them participate in election decisions and other national issues. Meanwhile, the wives of Baruchi and Kebi State, respectively, in their remarks in Hausa language, 
encouraged the herdsmen to shed their sword and embrace peace, insisted that whatever their grievances are can only be attained to in the atmosphere of, of peace. They asked them to embrace education and other enlightenment programs in order to be at bridge with development in their immediate environment and across the world. <laughs> oh my God, so what are they trying to say now? Those people they killed today, those people who killed them, they are from where? You see, this is the problem. They keep on denying they are not the kidnappers, they are not this and this and that, they are not, um, what is it called, uh, bandits and all that. But these people, <laughs> I beg, I don't know what I'm going to talk again put for this matter because it's really very funny. It's really very, very funny. You are telling us that people who adore uh, Fulani, are tired and using them to perpetrate evil and you know these people so you cannot identify the bad eggs among you if nigerians are accusing fulanese nigerians are accusing fulanese of you know uh, kidnapping raping and all that then take it as a challenge let nigerians prove to nigerians that you and your people are not the one you know, carrying out all these activities by identifying the bad eggs among you. Today, about 83 persons were killed in Ondo State. Fulani Esmen, according to a report, opened fire on church members and they killed about 33 persons, both men and women. So, what do you want to justify this matter? I beg, these people, they are just heartless and inhuman. They should be, <laughs> let me not just say that, because the Nigerian government will not do anything about that. I am dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.